Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's pick a card. What's their karma? So there's an important message from spirit, first of all, before I begin, and that is to be heavy on the self-love. Heavy in pouring into yourself. I'm being shown, um, like energetically speaking, um, a lot of crevices, okay? As if there's like crevices in someone's energy field currently. They need filling, okay? Because there's like multiple, multiple little dark crevices and it, it's almost like a withering away, something like a thorn in the side, right? Letting something go so that it can happen. That's what I just heard right now. Letting something go so it can happen. Now, there's going to be a few more um, messages here. And also things that I know about karma, right? Now... You need to stay out of the way. You need to stay out of the way of people receiving their karma, okay? And now some of you may be saying and thinking, well, actually, North, I feel as though I'm receiving karma since I made the choice to go away from them, cut them out of my life, or even they're around you, but you've made distance boundaries, you're trying to heal and move on, you know? Um, yes, so there's two things. As I say, the first thing is stay out of the way. Why? Because you will actually delay their karma. Okay, you will delay their karma, i.e. their consequences. All right. Number two, when it feels like you're experiencing their karma. Well, yes, um, you actually are because you've already gone into a contract with that person, whatever it was. Okay. Um, this is coming more from a romantic perspective. Okay like past relationships, etc. cetera. Um, but in general, it doesn't matter how big or little the interaction was. It's all about the intention and the energy behind it, right? And even when you separate from this person, especially where there was narcissism involved and sociopathy, psychopathy, all these very heavy, um, you know, demonic type of energies. And let's not get into the term about, I'm just... Let's just call it that for now, okay? But, you know, those energies that come to upset your life, basically. Again, going back to what I was saying, even when you separate from them, you're going to experience what they either sh should be experiencing, like should be, or they are, right? But you're sharing it with them. Yeah. And... Going back to like staying out of the way and the delay you can create whenever you keep giving people chances or um, helping them, right? Even though they've done you really dirty. Now, the energy again behind this reading, this is not like, okay, I know that I played a role to play in this, which yeah, we all know about accountability. We all know, which... You know, if you come to my channel, more than likely you are a person who knows that and you practice that, right? In the best way you can to be responsible for how you ended up in that position. But I'm talking about when someone had an intention, right? And then they took something they, and they kept taking it. There's a very big difference. This reading is not about those who, oh, they also um, went through things and they... Um, didn't know how to cope with that and that's why it went so wrong and then karma happened or karma needed to happen etc no I'm not referring to that I'm referring to those that intently came into your life are still in your life and they are going out of their way to bring you harm this is what I'm reading on okay so if that's the type of person or situation that you have in your mind then this is the reading for you if it's not this is not the reading for you okay this is a very strong reading um, that's, that's what I have to say. So the piles, we've got four, we've got pile one is the blue rose. Um, pile two is the red rose, pile three is the yellow rose, and, uh, pile four is the pink rose. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. Um, what was the one more thing? Okay, 
it might come back to me, it might not. Go ahead and choose your pile. I'm gonna begin. Yeah, so I'm hearing spell work right away. So some of you may have done spells to, well, I hear bring the truth out. So we'll see what that's about. What was that thing I had to say? Oh, well, if spirit just took it out my head, then spirit will put it back if it's supposed to be. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, that's it. So the, the final message was about restoration. Like, balance has to come into play. So if somebody took something, like, they have to pay for that. They have to pay for that, whether it's energetically um, in the in the 3D world, like it was money, it was your, um, you know, an item. They have to pay for that. So that's also what this reading is about. All right. Okay. <coughs> All right, welcome pal one. What's their karma? Let's take a look at the first card. Three of cups. Mm. Well, if you look at this card closely, you can see that there's one female who's being left out. But what I'm gonna say is, this is not showing me the karma for them right now. It's showing me like what they did. That you were dealing with someone who had a very cocky energy, like, yeah, you know, I've got options and I don't need you, I don't need you. And this is what occurred. I hear cold-blooded. This energy that was put in the cold like that, that was um, a very uh, big mistake. I hear that the person who was put out in the cold is heavily protected, connection to Santa Muerte. And it's not that necessarily the person that was put out in the cold did anything, practices anything. No, it's like the heritage. Okay, what's the karma, please? What's the karma here, spirit? What does pal one need to know about this person and their karma? Okay, so there's something about friends here, first of all. Friends and betrayals, okay? So what I see happening is that the person that you're thinking of in this reading, they're gonna experience a lot of betrayals and it's all gonna kind of come at once. Um, well, it will be revealed all around the similar time, but actually it's been going on for some time. Almost like I'm seeing like weaves, like a web, like a web being created around this person, a web of lies. And it's all gonna come crashing down. They're gonna be left like standing in an empty in an empty house, in an empty workplace. Like everything is gonna like leave them, but it's all gonna be around this a similar time. They're gonna discover that they've been played. But it's it's giving this friend energy, right? This friend group, um, particular energies, yeah. And then we've got judgment. So I can also tell you that um, this is being taken care of, like they're gonna be dealt with by, how, by a higher power, higher energies with the judgment card being here. This is uh, very much so like, yeah, holy death, you know, Santa Muerte, um, you know, looking for the la justicia, the justice, the justice for you, like I'm hearing justice will reign upon you. Um, and I do just hear now that uh, you watching me feel like Mm, this has been one of the most depressive times of my life like this put you into a depression like this actually uh put your mental health at risk um yeah in some cases which even to the point where like and this is of course very small but like you just wanted to end it all you just wanted to like be like that just i want to go to sleep i don't want to wake up um so it's not showing me further into like that three of cups there like about being out in the cold, what this person did in detail, but um, they do have narcissistic energy, okay? They've got narcissistic uh, patterns. 
Th yeah, this person is dark. They they made a deal with the devil. All right. They they made you know. And again, I'm not here to like point out about making something. Okay, the devil is the bad one. Da da da. Listen. It's the malintent, okay? Malintent. So let's just keep it real here, <clears throat> okay? Let's just keep it real. It's one thing to have devilish energy about you, like, oh, devilish, like, uh, it's driven by <clears throat> passion. And yeah, you've got to be a bit devilish, like cheeky, that type of thing. That's that's different. When I'm saying here about made a pact with the devil, it was with malintent. Please protect yourself, okay? Keep cleansing. Whatever that is for you. Praying. I'm seeing some of you pray. Uh, three of Pentacles. Yeah. So um, I, hear, I hear backfire. So also um, what this person thought they had in place when it comes to options, like romantic options and stuff like that. Um, yeah. They're going to get like that's going to happen to them, like what they did to you. It literally in this case is like very much an eye for an eye type of energy um i do hear mirror some of you may have done mirror you know for those of you that do you did do something like mirror work or someone did it on your behalf like an auntie an older sister an elder okay i hear like elder did some uh, mirror return to sender yes it worked um yeah this person is like they're randomly like hurting themselves not directly but i'm saying like yeah they're having like accidents They're having like accidents, yeah. So then we've got six of pentacles and ten of cups. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you, this person thought they could do all that and then move on into like a ten of cups energy. So this is what is unfolding, their karma. So as well as what I described before, it's also that like spirit and Santa Muerte and like other guides, ancestors, they have um, built this person up, right? They've let this person go six of pentacles, like they're getting help, looks like everything's good. Oh, ten of cups is there for me. I can still have my happy ending somehow. And before I say it, I'm going to do a shuffle. And what spirit? And what? I know that's going to come out in reverse, so it's going to all be taken from them. This new beginning they thought they had for themselves, like they're a winner, like no, no thought of like what they did. They, they thought that like, that's just how it is. Like you shouldn't have messed with me, but you didn't do anything. This person didn't like to be not the high roller, not the king of the situation, like whichever way round it was, not even taking gender. It, I'm just saying king because this is the energy of the person. Like, I'm a king. I can do what I want. When I'm done with you, I'm done with you. Like, you're not going to tell me when you're done with me. It's like this, even though they were doing things already to make you want to not be around them. Toxic, yes, narcissist energy, narcissistic energy. But look at that. It's being swiped. When I tell you it's being swiped right from under their feet, there's going to be one major uh, moment to come where a lot of it will happen. Like it's going to literally be like in that one day. And then as I say, um, around a similar time, this friendship group or these people they thought were friends, it's all crumbling down. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Let's see the oracle deck. Yeah, courtship. And listen, they are going to come back. They are going to come back and they're going to be desperate. You know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. This person left you in a position where your mental health was on the line. You wanted to not be here no more. So we know what we need to do, right? Look. They're going to expect to come back and be your lover again, be back in courtship. Okay, this is going to be a test. This is going to be a test. 
<clears throat> Spirit is saying, you don't, you don't need to do anything except keep that door closed. Of course, this is your life, your free will, but this is what is in the reading, okay? And this, this moment will be delayed. Will be delayed. Do not, do not fall for it. It is not, yeah, this person... Listen, they've been doing some shady stuff. Sleeping with people who... You, you don't want that. You don't want that. Look, see? You, you, will, you will experience their karma if you were to even just, like, hear them out. Because it would be tempting. This person is, like, very, very... This person's energy, <clears throat> aside from what I'm picking up about being narcissist and toxic... They're like a shapeshifter. They're very good at charming, like a charming snake, right? And actually, even I don't want to say snake because I love snakes and their snakes are associated with wisdom and it's very beautiful. But that's the best way I can describe it. It's only in the sense of like the slyness because you know how it can, a snake could just be like there going through the grass, like watching, waiting. This is this person. But this is what will happen. This is what is happening to them regardless, but they'll try and bring you into that. <clears throat> okay, that was your reading, pile one, okay? <clears throat> I hope it helped in some way. Please be safe, you know, take care of yourself, your mental health, and know that everything is being taken care of. You are protected. Do your cleanses, keep praying <clears throat> as I shared. Okay, thank you. Moving on to pile two. My throat keeps... Mm. Right, welcome pile two. <sighs> right, this is feeling kind of fresh. I'm seeing a couple arguing, fighting, something about phones. <clears throat> yeah, somebody found uh, videos, pictures here text messages this is this is like going down this could have been six days ago six weeks ago it's fresh and energy um and i hear all the walls come tumbling down like humpty dumpty had a great fall all the king's horses all the king's men couldn't put humpty together again so it's like something was just broken to the point of no return here in pal two all right let's take a look at your first card knave of cups yeah here, somebody was spreading their love thin. They were spreading their communication. Like, the communication was spread thinly, right? Because there's, like, multiple people here. They're, they're sharing themselves with a lot of people. Here, there's a gigolo energy that some of you have been dealing with, are currently dealing with, because, as I say, this is, like, tumbling down. It's going on. It's fresh in the energy. And I hear bailout. It's, like... It could be you're on the fence. It could be you're on the fence about things with this person because it is so recent. I'm hearing I don't know what to believe. We've put in all this time. Like I should just walk away now. Yeah, here, this hasn't, you haven't walked away. Um, I'm hearing you're wondering if, if you stay, what will happen? And if you go, like what will happen? Because you're hurt and mad. But at the same time, this is very fresh. You haven't got to that stage yet where perhaps you can like unsee the love in them, like, oh, you know, unsee, unfeel your feelings for them. It's very complicated. Yeah, seven of wands. Right, let's keep going. What's the karma here, please, spirit? Oh, you know what I just heard? Look at, okay, pal two. There is a king on the way. There is a king on the way. There is a king on the way for you. temperance i'm getting goosebumps and shivers major 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 healing coming out of this right listen to me there is something on the other side here look i'm getting a lot about you i feel and i know looking at nine of swords this is how it's been in this connection like ang anxiety all the time like for no reason no random reason you're having a great day you 
do, living your life, you're happy and just suddenly anxious. Where's this anxiousness coming from? This is this person. This is this person. And okay, when you get further from this connection, you're going to see just how much it's going to be bigger than that. You'll see it was even bigger than that. It was more serious that how much their energy was affecting you. So the temperance, it's also about taking a break. So it, I'm getting advice here for you. Okay, spirit is coming forward with that. This is because it's so fresh because, I, I, you know, it's like, what, am, what do I do? As I say, like being on the fence about things, it's working out. You're going to get your nine of cups. Spirit is bringing this forward because it's like seeing the other side. This is what the question I had, like, well, what will happen if I go? This is what will happen. Do you see this? Eight of Pentacles, things working out, working in your favor, manifestations coming to fruition, and Nine of Cups, your king is on the way. I'm going to keep saying it. Oh my God, the magician. Right. Kala for this person, Spirit, they won't be able to get you back. They won't be able to get you back. That's their karma. Six of Swords, yeah. Um, what I hear um, actually for them is that they are going to end up in endless, like, oh no, fruitless relationships, like relationships that don't go anywhere. Like they may look like that, like six of, um, six of swords here, moving into new waters, but it's going to constantly be a cycle of like new waters, new beginning. And it's going to get to like the six week mark and it will not work out. And at that point, yes, they're going to keep trying to come back to you. This is not just going to, they're not just going to go away rather right away. Um, they're going to, you know, try and fight for you. But Spirit is reminding you, look at what how you felt. Like, remember the feelings you had with them. Did you ask yourself, did you really have peace? Did you? What else do you say, Spirit? Something about a car. Is it repo? Like, repossessed? Like, this person, um, I do have some kind of, like, scamming energy. Like, you know, they try to cut corners. And that goes back to that spreading themselves thinly energy. Like, you know, they've got their fingers in many pies. Look, seven of uh, ones really wanted to come out there. Um, yeah, look, like hiding lovers. Seven of swords and the lovers card there. Three of ones, like here, there and everywhere. Traveling. When they said they were in one place, they were somewhere else. But it was to do with like, you know, seeing other lovers. And then on top of that, this person was just really difficult to deal with. I see this person had multiple phones. That may have been what you discovered as well. Like, oh, they've actually got like two, three phones. Like, why? This person speaks different languages as well, by the way. So that, that may not be for all of you, but I have it quite heavily. Yeah, seven of, um, the, well, the chariot. I always want to say seven or something. But um, yeah, so the obstacles... Um, They'll be removed from your life because I feel like you've had a lot of like setbacks because of this, like this energy being in your life, like just things like not working out, everything being hard. It's just like this energy of hard. Okay, yeah, I'm the Empress on the bottom deck there. Okay, um, what else please say, Spirit? This person in the karma, and I'm gonna say it because I heard it. I hear jail. So if this is spiritual jail. literal jail but yeah they, they took something yeah the devil in the moon in reverse i mean i don't take reverse but that's big oh yeah so okay pile two just be prepared for a lot more to come out okay it's not done yet you don't know you know like one percent of what this person has been doing behind your back so really get a support system in place all right, if you need to move, just see what you can do. Be with family, friend, someone that really has your back because this is going to get messy. And I do hear that some of you, you're going to have to stand on trial. This person is, for some, they're involved in like, it's gang, it's um, gang related, it's mafia related. And they're going to try and ask you for help. Um, yeah, let's see from the oracle. This is for your safety as well, like, <clears throat> to be out of the way, you know, be out of there. Just don't, do not be associated with them anymore. 
unexpected income yeah so like where your where your money went down like got affected your abundance that's as i showed you like eight of pentacles that's you're receiving some like random blessings okay for them it's being taken everything is now going to cost them everything is going to cost them charges it doesn't um, it doesn't even have to be about the the like law charges you know with issues with the law no it's like in general they're just gonna have like what where did i get this extra charge for this bill it's just all being charged because they owe they owe yeah yeah like random stuff coming yeah see poverty you know because they made they made deals with certain energy you know unknowingly unknowingly because they wanted to get ahead faster. They wanted to cut corners. Yeah, see? You've got to try and move. You've got to try and get away, change your address. Whatever you need to do, all right? Okay, that was your reading, pile two. Um, stay safe and uh, remember you come first, okay? Blessings, they come my way. Blessings, they come my way. <clears throat> okay. So right away, uh, pile three, I'm hearing like time goes by. As time goes by, as time goes on. Um, let bygones be bygones so this is giving me quite like past energy quite dense and what i mean by that is is like i'm going quite far back in time so this could be someone that you're just wondering about like perhaps the thorn isn't in your side anymore about this person or you know you've moved on to another connection like life's pretty good but it's like you've always wondered because this is how where i'm going even five years ago i hear let's take a look at the first card yeah see it's like looking back looking back at what was like i wonder wonder did something happen to them i don't know let's let's see let's see okay oh king of pentacles what else do you say spirit three of ones yeah so first of all there's one question i'm hearing from you did they stay with that person no they didn't no they didn't they left that person okay um there's a, there was a split here. Uh, also, there were children involved. Somebody, somebody's child wasn't their child. Okay, there was a pregnancy and certainly an overlap between when you were with this person and when this person um, stepped outside of the connection. And yeah, somebody was pregnant. It wasn't their kid. That's obviously not for everyone, but specific situation there. There was a telltale involved. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, this person, uh, <clears throat> they went through it. So, and I'm saying like went through it because it's like, yeah, this happened. Like it was a while ago, like a long time ago, as they say, the tower card. So this person's life fell apart, okay? It didn't happen right away. It took three months, three years, right? Um, because the separation, the information about the pregnancy thing, that happened, yes, quite close um, to when you when things ended. But then it was like a domino effect. Things just continued and continued. And this person experiences, experienced battle after battle. Yeah, it was. It's quite quick how, when they ended the, the other with the other person who they thought they were going to be with. <clears throat> yeah, the children. So this person, okay, the first situation where there was the pregnancy and it wasn't their kid, right? That I get happened quite quickly. That all kind of unravels quite quick. Quick. What does that mean? It, three months to six months. Like this is the energy I'm getting, right? But then they they moved on to something else, and they had a kid to someone else there's like different kids to different people and yeah it's just never worked out it's just never worked out what else please say spirit 
And they do, they feel they're cursed. Ten of Swords, yeah. Being betrayed, stabbed in the back. Constant, repetitive cycle of that happening to them. Oh my goodness, dang. Yeah, it's like they can't, they can't escape it. And I hear Spirit saying they're not getting let off the hook. I'm not being shown more of what did happen between you and this person, but apart from what I've described, but all I know is the spirit world is not happy with them. They, they, they're not happy. They don't, <clears throat> oh yeah. It's just that, listen, they went into a, a, a jail, a spiritual jail like a 10 year, 10 years before they'll get given the opportunity to like come out of it. What else here? Yeah. Took them out of the site, yeah. It's just challenge after challenge. <clears throat> Dead ends. Yeah, and this person has like become very addicted to certain things, substances. Addicted to just like having just sex like random you know just like not caring what's do they're doing to their body just like yeah um, it, addicted to that they haven't changed the judgment card is there um here with this card there's like an energy of loss right like they lost yeah they've lost People also I'm not gonna say that's necessarily the karma but they believe it is they believe that they're cursed right this is the energy with the danger card being there and it can be they were actually because I'm now hearing that and I'm seeing it there was a jar I see a jar in the ground you know buried and um, so something was put on them actually that's not for everyone but that's why it's like it's been contracted like no you're gonna do this for like a 10 year period and then we'll reconsider but it's only whenever i'm hearing whenever they actually seek redemption something along these lines like they've got to seek forgiveness for what they did for the lies and the manipulation and what they put you through so if you ever wondered that's that's what happened um yeah, Ten of Cups, see? It's like every time they reach for that, they think they're gonna have that again. It doesn't have to be relationship. It's just like that happy ending and whatever that might be for them. It's just like, it's way out of reach. Just so many things happen. It crashes, it goes wrong, loses money. Like everybody hates them. But they still haven't got it. They still haven't got it. Like it's about seeking the forget, like they needed to heal. And they had to make right with you. This person still has, has self-righteousness about them. That's why it's still continuing. And I hear spirits saying it will be extended past the 10-year period if they don't get it. And they will lose themselves. They will lose themselves through this. Mentally speaking, emotionally speaking, and health-wise. That's They're on the brink of that. So that's what I have, pal three, okay? nothing changed basically except them still being in denial okay all right moving on to pile four Somebody feels, thinks they lost the love of their life. And there's no going back. Okay, let's take a look. Ace of Wands. So I'm hearing, I'm not going to find another one like you. There ain't nobody like you. There's, there's no one that can do what you do. Somebody is looking for you here in Palfall. 
And a part of their karma is that they can't find you. Baby, come back. So somebody wants you to come back. Please have spirit. Um, yeah, four of swords. Somebody is going through it. Somebody is going through it here over you and not being able to find you. And I hear instant karma. It's like the moment you ended things because this is the way I'm getting it. They they had like instant karma in this four of swords, they're still in this four of swords and this has been like quite a few months. It can even be like up to two years, okay? Some of you have known this person for four years. There is a cyclical energy here, like it was on and off. Or if it didn't ever like break in between before the final break, it's like the highs, the lows. 10 of pentacles, yeah. This person, there was like a lot of false promises. But yet, they, what's that? They fiend, is it fiend? You like fiend? They, for you. This person just wanted all their cake. I know what that phrase is. Let me see. They're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with you. This is part of their karma. The Ace of Wands is like giving me obsession, obsession energy. Um, yeah. So it's like after all that, after all that, now they want they want the real Ten of Pentacles, but this is a part of their karma. It's like the torture. Here, there's like a torture energy. Because that's how it is for them. It's torture, absolute torture. And te uh, Knight of Pentacles being here, it tells me like, you know, they've tried to make attempts, but it's like they just get further and further and further away from you and the possibility or chance of ever seeing you again, hearing from you, even having like one last talk. It's like that didn't even happen. They're stuck in a loop. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Despite everything, like this is what they view, they view you that you're gonna come back one day. This is, I'm telling you, like this is, this person who I'm getting this reading, they actually believe that. And they're trying to pray about it, like please, please God. And as you hear like Allah as well, like please, like bring, bring her back to me. Look here, this person knows they messed up. On like the, the prior piles, right? This person, they, they, yeah, they, look, they're coming back to seek forgiveness. There is a coming back here. All right, now I'm not gonna say right now what, if that's a good thing, should you close the door? I just have from you watching, you're like, I'm done, Not this, I just came here to see because some of you are picking up on this. You're like, you're you're picking up on this because they're trying to, yes, they're trying to make their way back to seek forgiveness, King of Swords. I hear karma canceled. What is that spirit? What is that? You know what I'm seeing? King of Wands, right? This is very specific, but I'm seeing a council of like, high 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 ranking that's it high ranking angels high ranking light beings okay um also including lemuria they they have got a collective council uh you know this is in, an, in another realm uh because you're you're heavily protected you're divinely uh protected and also you you may be a reader a seer uh, a witch of some kind you know a root worker all of that good stuff right um, and they're, they're discussing this. They have a scroll in front of them and, uh, it's in ancient language, but I can just translate what they're saying. And they're saying that this person, whenever they got the realization, when they get the realization that there is, um, an opportunity here to cancel karma and rectify things. They're also saying, no, it doesn't depend on you. You don't have to say yes, no, you don't have to worry about that. It's about this person and them having a realization. This person, 
because they have got on their knees and actually prayed after like not ever doing that right this is the, this is where you've put you've put them on the path of god but you know let's not run with it like now they're realizing you know everything it's not that but what i'm getting is it's like it it triggered them to be like I, i'm an a -ho like all those things all those negative thoughts they know who they are they know they're not a great person but something happened with them where it was like um I'm going to have to do something here. Like, I need to pray about this because I don't know where she's gone. Like, she's just disappeared. Like, what was it that bad? Like, did something happen? Like, they just don't know. They're going through all this stress. Like, they're not sleeping. They may even be, like, having to medicate themselves to just, oh, like, you know, they're smoking it away, like, having a joint, whatever, trying to, or drinking as well. Yeah, this person is, is low vibrational. They let, they let demons control them, you know, like they let their dark side take over. Like there's no balance with them. And you're like this earth angel, you know, who came in and blessed their life. So that's also what's been happening. Like their, their money has slowed down. Their blessings have slowed down. Like whatever abundance they thought they were getting uh, has slowed right down and actually are here come to a halt. But yeah. You see, I see the King of Wands as like the High Council because some of them look like that, what I just had the vision of with the beard. Like they're, they're not in red, but they're in white, but the white beard. And so I'm just seeing this being like the council in between you both. Like this council is saying, hey, don't come towards this Queen of Pentacles unless you really mean, you really mean these prayers. You really mean the healing of for her and her well-being and it's genuine love. And then we'll let you pass. We'll let you pass. We'll let you in so you can access her, so you can find her to say what you need to say, and it better be, better be from unconditional love. They're watching this person. And just because they're, uh, they're coming from the light realm and they are angels and Lemurian, oh yeah, don't think they don't have their, their side to them that will rain fire. See, and it's king of wands, I'm telling you. They will then run through this person's life like it's nothing. Burn right through it all, I'm telling you. They're on their last chance. So, pal four. It will be... Either way, you're going to get some kind of um, justice. Like, all piles are, but here it's like, with this situation, this is more like... You know it's going to be actually from the person the justice rather than like in the other piles um not that i'm it's not about comparing but i'm just trying to give an example of what i mean here is that it's going to be like from the person the person will come to you right rather than it's like you're going to receive a new home or you know how universe god will replace it you know they're always going to replace things for you they're going to restore you they're going to do what they can but this in this instance it's coming in the form of a person see you're not expecting it at all. Yeah. And this is what they're going to want. And then Pentacles, Nine of Cups. It's the Sun. Ace of Cups. Oof. I just said a blessing in disguise. Oh my goodness. That is some shift. Yeah, I can only tell you what I see and what I get. And you know, those of you that have been with me some time, you know my cards pretty much. And even if you know the other decks, even though there's some variations, but we all know it's pentacles, ace of cups, nine of cups, the sun. Look at that. Okay, that was your reading, pal for. Thank you very much. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, yeah, that was a lot. But it was time for it to be shared and be delivered. I love you all. Please take care. Take care of yourself, your mental health. You come first always, all right? Take the breaks when you need them. 
love yourself. This is our season of pouring into ourselves and receiving what we know we deserve. And what God and Allah, any who you follow, who you appreciate, who you love, that's what they are bringing to you. They want us to be on that path. Because they also love you. You are not alone. You are not alone. And you've done the best that you could do, given circumstances. Okay? Mwah.